Welcome to DowerChin.com. All right, today is a video that a lot of subscribers of my channel have been waiting for, and it's basically to see how the Razor Core works with the Porsche Design Book 1. All right, so if you're not familiar with this, this thing is, this is made by Razor. It is a external PCI Express expansion slot that goes into a Thunderbolt connection. And so the Porsche Design Book 1 actually has a Thunderbolt uh, port right on the side on the tablet portion of the device and so you can see the solitary cable that goes into this unit here now what's nice about this unit is it also um, you don't need to worry about using the power adapter that comes along with this thing because it'll it'll draw power from here to charge the device and keep it charged so it kind of frees up the usb type c port down there for other things which is really good so my test setup right now is the razor core has a uh, asus r9 uh, Radeon R9 Fury card in here with four gigabytes of video memory, so it should be pretty good for gaming. Uh, you know, I didn't have an, an, an I didn't have an Nvidia on hand, so we're gonna have to do the the AMD side, which is probably first perfectly fine for what we want to do. The games are gonna be running off my Samsung external 500 gigabyte SSD going through USB 3 into the Porsche Design Book One, and I'm gonna be using my Razer Orochi Bluetooth gaming mouse uh, to complete the package. So, all right. Now, first thing we're going to do is probably going to go through some of my games that I had previously here and um, see how they perform, um, you know, with the the R9 card as um, as opposed to some of my other videos which showed the games running uh, or barely running with the built-in Intel HD 620. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so today we're going to take a look at XCOM 2 running with the Razer Core with the Radeon R9 graphics card in there. And so you can see that right now our frames per second is actually at 40 frames per second. So what I did with it here, because uh, we talked about this earlier, you can see it looks a lot nicer. And so what it is, is uh, the graphics are set to maximum. And with maximum um, between 38 to 40 frames per second, which is fantastic. If I were to goof around and drop down to minimum, uh, where we had it before when we were playing with the Intel HD 620, uh, exit, exit this thing, you know, you can see the frame rate counter goes up to 60 frames per second. So obviously with minimum settings, game still looks good, but you, and you get more frame rate. But that's not really quite as important uh, with this game, because once again, it is a strategy game. So with this, let's bump it up to maximum. So maximum is, everything's all high. So let's save and exit that, let this game redo it. Frame rate drops to about eh, 24, 37 frames per second, so it's still pretty good. So let's go back and load the game to my base, like I was doing in my first video with XCOM 2. Still takes a while to load. All right, so now let's go poke around. I'll go to research. Nice and smooth transitions in. Engineering. Command. Nice, nice and smooth. Everything looks really, really pretty. So, um, all right. So let's see. Let's go to the world map here. So let's take a look. See. All right. Uh, that's the same mission, uh, although it's probably going to be a little bit different because the, the game sort of randomizes a few areas, so it might not be the exact same mission, but we'll start it up. And yeah, we'll confirm. Oh, it's kind of funny. It's, it looks darker for some strange reason. It's quite dark. I don't know why. Hmm. Let's, Let's go and uh, change the brightness real quick. Why not? Here, let's go to the options here. Uh, graphics, that looks dark. Let's see. Hmm, the gamma seems off. Let's up the gamma a bit there. It seems awfully dark. Right, let's do that. So, that's it. Okay, all right, let's see if it's any brighter now. So, I'm going here. Go and start the mission up. Now we'll go to West Africa. Yep, confirm. Let's go. Okay, yeah, it's a little bit better. So I can see a little bit better now. So, kind of odd how all the graphics settings are on. Things are a little darker. Hmm. Okay. 
so maybe just the shadows and everything are more in play in the highlights. But you can see, there he's here, frame rates at around 37 frames per second. Let us go start the mission. Regardless of the R9 in here, this, these screens will still take a long time to load. We've pinpointed an exposed access point on the advent network that we could use to intercept critical data on the aliens' latest operation. But the terminal is somewhere inside one of their facilities in this area. We don't get too many opportunities like this, so we're moving in to hack that workstation. Eliminate any hostile contacts and secure the surrounding area. Recover whatever you can. We need that data if we're going to stop their progress. Oh, that's not too bad. All right. Menace one five. This is Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. Okay, so this is kind of similar to what we experienced last time. So let's see if I can butt kick again. Let's see, let's send my guys over this way. So you can see, it's pretty smooth. Alright, so, send this guy over here. On my way. Alright. Let's, uh, let's get my, let's shoot my guys off a little bit here just to kind of get them around. Right, this time I'll crap, I'm gonna put this guy in Overwatch. Let's see, next person in. Let's see, oh. Confirmed. Do an overwatch. Affirmative covering now. I should be as cautious, but let's just do it. Let's go case. Let's go over here. I don't know if I want you to go over here, sniper. Let's uh, go over here. Got it. Moving. Okay. I think there's some dudes over there. If I remember what happened last time. Good to go. Enemy patrol on the move. Yep, they were there last time. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Well, let's get this guy up here. Location confirmed. Okay. So anybody else gonna move? Nope. All right. So let's see if I can hack this thing. I'll give it a shot. Alright. Yeah. Let's try it. And oh I did it this time! Yeah! Alright. Alright. Well by 50%. Excellent. Odds are my favorite today. And we're through. Woohoo, alright. Here they come. They're all in close proximity to each other. Ooh, this would be pretty because it's a gas tank there. Alright, so, to make this play out better for myself, let's go and, let's see, uh, alright, let's do this, let us, um, oh my guys, I'm Overwatch, Roger, Overwatch, and let me move you up somehow, someplace so I can just get a shot at something, so this is the spot here. Moving to designated position. Uh, let's get you on Overwatch too. Let's see, I'm gonna use you in a minute. Alright, I'm gonna use you and uh, do a kill zone of anything over here, because there's plenty of guys there. Area on lockdown! <laughs> this should be fun. Alright, so these guys, let's see, let's do a. Let's do another uh, Overwatch for you as well. Overwatch. Anybody else? Let's see, not you. Overwatch. And there we go. So I'm gonna use my rocket launcher on you, this guy here. This is glorious. Let's see if this works. Oh, look, I got them all. Oh, yeah. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> sweet. That worked out really, really well. Did I kill them all? Oh, wow, I killed them all. <laughs> awesome. That actually worked out way better than I expected it to. Okay. All right. 
So, alright, I don't want to go any further. I'm going to save my game. This is going real well. <laughs> Let's save. You save over here. I'll save. Kick an ass. Alright, so that's good. So I'll save that. Okay. So there you have it. A look at uh, XCOM 2 with the R9 Fury and the Razor Core. Uh, the game runs really, really well now. It's nice and smooth and buttery. Uh, keeping it constant, 30 frames to even 50 to 60 frames per second, depending on the location and what the game is doing. So, the game originally with the Intel HD 620 was, yeah, it was playable, it wasn't all that pleasant an experience, very choppy with very low frame rates, but with this, this is uh, quite a totally different enjoyable experience, because uh, even this game running right now, uh, um, I'm doing way better than I had done with when I was playing with the Intel card, just as far as the game scenario was going, because I was doing terrible on that one. So, there you have it, a look at XCOM 2, with the Razor Core attached to the Porsche Design Book 1, with a Radeon R9 Fury card in there, and, um, you know, it uh, with maximum settings, everything all turned on high for XCOM 2, it runs really, really well. So it's great to know that this is an option for you if you want to actually have the Razor Core play a game like this. So, um, you know, like and subscribe to my channel, and if there are any other things you want to see, any other games you want, you want me to try, or things you want to see and do with this uh, device, please uh, let me know. I'd love to get feedback in any ways to improve my channel. Thanks for watching.